We'll see increasing cloud today with rain developing, our highs getting up to 20 degrees. Reporting for 1029 Whistle FM News, I'm Bob Pritchard. Police have identified the victim of a deadly shooting in Newmarket on Saturday night as 30-year-old Georgina resident Cody Gionet. Officers were called for a reported weapons call, and when they arrived on scene, they found Gionet suffering from gunshot wounds. Police have arrested two suspects in connection with the case, but said no charges have been laid. Three suspects are in custody in connection to an armed robbery incident in Markham yesterday. Police received a report Sunday that personal items including jewelry, cell phones and clothing were taken at knife point during an altercation near Greensboro Drive. The alleged perpetrators also suggested they had a gun before they fled in a white Range Rover. A 21-year-old man remains in a trauma center with life-threatening injuries after being struck on Saturday by a vehicle in Vaughan. Police say the man allegedly walked into traffic on Major McKenzie east of Jane and was struck by a car. A man believed to be in his 50s was rushed to hospital last night after being stabbed in the area of the Yorkdale GO station. Police said one man was found suffering from serious but non-life-threatening injuries and a weapon was located nearby. Officers located a suspect a short distance away and he's currently in custody. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau marked the third anniversary of the terrorist attack at the National War Memorial in Ottawa by calling on Canadians to pay tribute to the soldier who was killed. Corporal Nathan Cirillo was shot while standing guard at the memorial during a day of terror at Parliament Hill in 2014 that ended with a mass gunman being shot and killed. He also honored Warrant Officer Patrice Vassin, who was killed two days earlier that year in a terrorist attack in saint jean sur Richelieu, Quebec. As a far as your weather picture goes, we'll see increasing cloud today with rain developing, afternoon highs getting up to 20 degrees. Reporting for Main Street Stovall for 1029 Whistle FM News, I'm Bob Pritchard.